Using promoted listings on eBay can help you generate thousands of dollars in extra sales, or it can cost you thousands of dollars in unnecessary fees. How do you strike a balance, or should you even be using promoted listings on eBay? I'm gonna give you all the data you need to know. Promoted Listing Standard is eBay's name for promoting your items on their platform. And here's how it works. You choose a percentage you are willing to spend based on the total sale amount of your item, including shipping, taxes, and any other fees. So yes, eBay charges fees on their fees. The promoted listing fee is charged as a percentage of the total sale price, including the final value fees charged by eBay. So here's how one of my sales breaks down. You can see the order total there at the top $7.91, which is what all the eBay fees are based off of. That's the price of the item, the shipping cost to the buyer, and sales tax. The transaction fees for this order, uh, my final value fee is 11.13% since I'm a top rated seller, plus 30 cents um, on every order on eBay. My ad fee standard is 6% here. So my total eBay fees paid for this transaction um, were about $1.65 which as a percentage of the total sale is 21%, but as a percentage of just the sale of my item, which is $5.95, the percentage is nearly 28%. Promoted listing fees can make the total fees you pay on eBay very high as a percentage of your sale price and of the item that you sold. Your rate can be anywhere from 2% to 100%. eBay has suggested rates, I'll talk more about these in a second, and what you should be using. And you are only charged with promoted listing standard when a buyer purchases an item. You do not pay if buyers do not buy, that's very important. I'm going to be talking about promoted listings advanced here in a minute. Uh, so eBay recently broadened their definition of what counts as a promoted listing sale. And as a seller, you need to know this. According to eBay, you will be charged the promoted listing fee if a buyer clicks on your promoted listing and purchases any of your promoted items within 30 days from that initial click. If a buyer sees one of your promoted listings on eBay, clicks that, and then goes to your store and purchases 20 other items, all of which are promoted, you will be paying a promoted listing fee on every single one of those items. And like I said, eBay now offers a promoted listings advanced tool, which is a cost per click way of advertising your items. Instead of paying when your item sells, you now pay when someone clicks on it if you use promoted listings advanced. This can be a good tool for sellers who know what keywords to target and are able to really narrow that down and target their buyers more effectively than eBay can with promoted listing standard. I've seen stories online of people making uh, a lot more money or lowering their effective fees by using this. I've seen stories as low as one to 2%, whereas they were having to spend much more with promoted listing standard. Now, that being said, I don't think this tool will be good for most sellers because you will basically need to be an expert in SEO and keyword targeting to effectively use eBay's promoted listings advanced. So I have only stuck with promoted listing standard and I advise you to do the same. But if you have ever used promoted listings advanced or if you want me to do a video on it, let me know. And I'm happy to learn more about it and test it out and see if it works for me. But again, it can be very dangerous because you're paying per click. So if you don't know what you're doing and who you're targeting, then your fees could get very high very quickly. Imagine paying, I don't know, 25 cents per click on a single postcard and you get 100 buyers to click on it and nobody's buying it, you've already paid $25 in fees and you haven't even sold your item. So it can be a pitfall, which is why I've stayed away from it, but I'm happy to do a video about it if you want to learn more. eBay promoted listings sounds pretty awful. Um, I'll just be honest. It can make your fees extremely high. So should you even be using eBay promoted listings? My answer is absolutely yes. And that might sound surprising to you um, and you really shouldn't have to be using eBay promoted listings and I'm not a huge fan in case you couldn't tell. eBay essentially forces you to use promoted listings. And here's what I mean. Buyers cannot find your items on eBay naturally. Here's a search I just did for a postcard for a small town in Georgia. Uh, my first search defaulted to the eBay best match sort and you see here I have 69 results. But if you sort by newly listed, which shows every item listed under that search term, I now have 88 results. So there are 19 postcards out there for Hawkinsville, Georgia that are not being shown 
for eBay best match. And I believe that is because those sellers aren't paying extra to promote their items on eBay. eBay does not care what buyers want to buy or what buyers are looking for. They care what items they can push to buyers that gets the highest fee and is essentially the most cost effective for them. So if an item is somewhat likely to sell and the seller has a really high ad rate, eBay will show that way more often. Whereas if an item is very likely to sell and is very attractive, but the seller is not promoting it at all, I do not believe eBay is likely to promote that. So what percentage should you use then if um, you need to be promoting on eBay to show your items to buyers? Everybody will have a different answer to this question and I encourage you to experiment and try out different rates and see what works best for you. I use a number in the mid single digits. I do not use eBay's suggested rate and I advise you to stay away from that suggested rate because I have no idea how they're getting that. Here's what eBay says. They are basing it on a variety of factors such as listing attributes, seasonality, past performance, and current competition. The words there that scare me are such as, that means they are not telling you every single factor, factor that they are basing that promoted listing fee on, and they could have a factor in there. 90% uh, of that fee or that suggested fee could be uh, hey, eBay needs to make more money this month to impress our shareholders, so we think your suggested ad rate needs to be 20%. So since that formula is not transparent at all, I advise staying away from it, and I don't know who is using it, because for mine, the suggested ad rate is over 13% now, and I do not know any sellers promoting at that high of a rate, and I do just fine in the mid-single digits. I have tried out higher percentages and did not notice any uptick in sales from doing so. So I do not believe that eBay suggested rate is the best for your business. I would start with a lower percentage, but experiment and play around and see what works best for you. A lot of sellers do 2% and have a lot of success with that, which is the minimum. Promoted listing fees on eBay are a necessary evil. For buyers to see items, we essentially need to be promoting items and paying extra fees. But I believe they are bad for buyers and sellers and that eBay should get rid of promoted listing fees. And I'm gonna make my case for it in case you're watching eBay. So as a buyer, I've had items that I want to buy not show up when I'm doing a search on eBay. I collect Athens Georgia postcards and I've had several Athens Georgia postcards I've found on eBay by sorting by newly listed and seeing every single item. There are postcards that just have not shown up when doing eBay's default search. I believe they are losing out on sales by not showing all items a buyer might potentially be interested in. The sellers that pay to promote the most are naturally going to be the most seen items on eBay and they are going to have to price items higher than other sellers to make up for those fees. This is a bad experience for both buyers and sellers on the platform because you are giving away a large portion of your sale to eBay and fees and the buyers are not seeing the items that they necessarily want, but the items that sellers are paying the most to promote. Imagine if eBay actually showed buyers the products that they were most likely to want and buy without regard to how much in fees they were to earn off the transaction. I believe that this would not only be better for buyers and sellers, but also better for eBay in the long run. So it encourages buyers to use the platform more, which means eBay is making more money. If you have buyers staying on eBay longer and more new buyers attracted to the platform, if you have a better algorithm to recommend items to buyers, it will net you more money in the long run. So without promotion fees, sellers have more margin to price items lower and they also have a greater incentive to list items on the platform since they're making more money. This is better for buyers and sellers all around. You're getting more items on the platform. You're getting more buyers on the platform. You're having more buying activity on the platform. I get it. In the short term, it's easier to raise the promoted listing suggested fee and raise promotions and collect more fees from sellers in general than it is to attract more buyers to your platform or get buyers to stay on your platform longer. It's just the easiest way. Raising fees uh, for sellers is the click of a button, but getting buyers to stay on your platform longer and attracting more buyers takes more time and investment. But I think it will be worth it in the long run if eBay goes that route, which I very much hope they do. In the long term, getting rid of promoted listings could be better for sellers, buyers, and the platform. eBay, if you're watching this, I have a lot more great ideas just like this one. So hit me up if you need any more. And thanks so much for watching everyone.